And that was a disgraceful performance, in my opinion. We threw that game. We gave it away by doing that. We gave them the friggin' game. In my opinion, that sucked. What is up, everyone? And welcome to another post game. Oh, I guess I forgot to play the clip. Here it is. I'm so glad you're not upset about the Giants getting swept today. Oh, no, it's just a game. Let me just grab my stuff off the bus real quick. And that's a wrap, ladies and gents. The series in Los Angeles did not go as planned, and the Giants get swept, everyone. 5-4, but close games, but close ain't good enough. It only counts in horseshoes. What's the expression? I can't remember. Uh, but 5-4, the Dodgers win. Richard Torres is here. Micah, thank you for being here. Jenny Vega is here. And the San Francisco Giants don't get it. Jenny Vega, oh, yeah, I got the clip for you as well for the sweep. Got to play the, the clip. For the There we go. No, very uh, unfortunate loss, but uh, a close game yesterday, a close game today. And I want to thank everyone for being here. We'll break it down. Let me say hello to Orange Customs, Cali. Vamos home, baby. Justin Sa. Uh, Manuel is here. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Jenny Vega, damn, 650 Lent. It's a party now. I give the Moneyball Dodgers credit for nothing. Yes, love the clip. I agree. Uh, it, it, a loss is a loss is a loss is a loss. We got Hola, Jenny Vega, Brian Chua. Congratulations, Brian Chua, on the sweep. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Eric, I thought you said it wasn't over. Um, it, I, I didn't say that today, but um, if I say it's not over, it's because at that time that I say it, it's it wasn't over at that time. Clearly. If the game is still proceeding and then there's baseball players like throwing and swinging bats and and that means the game's going. Now it's over. Now it's over. Final. In the books. Done. Players are in the showers, heading home, on the bus, whatnot. So, GG, game is over. What's up? Hey, Chiquilina Alegres Oficial. Respect, bro. Respeto. Respeto, mis amigos, aquí en el home, baby. Uh, it's a sweep for sure, but let's be honest. The Giants are knocking on the door. Things will definitely be different. I mean, uh, Giants got three of their best out. Snell, out. Ray, out. Cobb, out. Not an excuse. Fact. We're, we're just hoping these guys come back. Once we get this, and yeah, today we had Harrison, still lost. No excuse for today other than we lost. Dodgers scored more runs. Not by much, but they scored more runs yesterday, too. Yeah, a loss is a loss, and it goes in the loss column. But it's a 162-game season. There's going to be a lot of wins to come. A lot of wins to come. Oh, the helmet. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what. If we go on a, a, a five, six-game losing streak, that helmet's coming out. That helmet's coming out. Jason Corona! We are now have had a super chat at least one in every post game this year this is a record that is a record thank you so much jason corona let's start it off promising series would have to like a w but i'll like i'll take the bat starting to rebound and jorge soler hit an absolute missile that thing went 452 feet uh just a shot i wish he had hit it down the line it might have gotten out of dodger stadium probably not quite but it would have been up there to the top of the bleachers if he hit it to straightaway left field. More left center, but it was an absolute shot right there from Jorge Soler. Uh, he's got a home run in back-to-back -back games, and I'm excited to see that. Webb yesterday, too. Yeah, man, uh, no excuses. You know, we had our guys to yesterday and today and, and lost. We got swept in the series. 
We got swept in the series. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a four-game losing streak, but we haven't had a home game yet. I'm not going to get emotional, overly, overly emotional yet. We haven't had a home game yet. Uh, I, I will call this team out when that time comes that I think they deserve it. If I see them out there getting getting whooped, just not playing hard, making mental mistakes, and losing in, you know, to teams like the Marlins and Nationals and things like that, and just the season falling apart, falling in the standings. Uh, and anyway, yeah, technically we are falling in the standings already, but I'm saying you have to give it a little bit of time to really judge a team, in my opinion, in, in, in a 162-game season. Um, not a the best start. The couple of wins were nice. We're look, Giants were looking really good against the Padres. Now, yeah, we're sitting in fourth place here. Not a good start. Four games out just like that. This could turn around with a quickness. We are playing the Padres again. I feel like you got to win a couple of those games, preferably sweep the Padres, take care of business against the Nationals, and hopefully the Marlins. Marlins are not playing well this year. Marlins are, which we got a series against the Marlins coming up. They are 0-7. You, you, you know, if the Marlins come and sweep us, you're going to see me lose it at that point. Okay, I'm going to be like Malone Labe up in here. Okay, but um, – also, we're taking on the Nats. Nats are two and three. They're not especially uh, great either. Um, so we're going to have to take care of business here at home, and this is going to have to be a, a fantastic home series. Ain't no doubt about it. Put up a good fight, lost by one. Yes, yes. Yes, it's a marathon. It's a marathon. So when we lose to the pods Friday, the helmet will be on. Why do you say win? I mean, are you? I, I can't figure out if you're really a Giants fan. Why? Why would you say win instead of if? Um, if they lose to, uh, oh no, no, no. I'm sorry. Tomorrow's a day off. If they lose on Friday, will it, it depends how the loss is. But if it's a bad loss, the helmet may very well be on. If I'm pissed off, the helmet may very well be on. But I'm not going to promise because it it could be a a, a very well played game, and. Um, you know, it depends who we face. It depends who they appear. You know, it just depends how the game goes. But uh, five games in a row, typically that means the helmet will be on. Mickey Cat Cassidy, nice to see Bailey. Bailey with the big fly. I feel like we were giving up the long ball off in this series, but, hey, that's the Dodgers. Guys, look how Mookie is playing. He's the best player in baseball, best team in baseball. He hung right in with them. Going to be fine. I agree. I mean, Gi Giants hung right in with this team on the road. It's at Dodger Stadium. I would have liked to win at least one. I mean, of course, nobody likes to get swept. But I'm not about to just give up on this team, a team that is not at full health to start the year, unfortunately. Signed Snell late. I wish we signed Snell earlier. Thanks a lot to his agent. Um, and, and I wish Robbie Ray was healthy. I wish Cobb was healthy and, and, and here. But right now, we're a little bit shorthanded in the rotation. Um, but two straight games, one run games, the, neither of these games were, were blowouts. Um, these last two, that first one wasn't so great. We just need to beat everyone but the Dodgers. We'll get ourselves a wild card. We're so super fine. Okay, so you'll wait until we're mathematically out. I know you want me to be what what do you want from me? What the freak do you want from me? Okay, we suck. It's over. What do you want? What why do you take things to such an extreme? No. I played taps before we were mathematically out last year. But I'm not going to – you want me to give up on the team before the first home game? Can we be a little bit reasonable? You literally want me to say we're done, it's over, we suck before the first home game. Oh, my God. Someone help me out in the chat, please. Holy Moses. I'm about to lose it. What's up, Chance Bunker? I was scared every time Soler was up. When he connects, it goes a long way. He is the man. Hypothetical should have said if. Okay, I apologize. I apologize. That's my bad. That's my bad. I'm 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 tripping. I'm 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 tripping, dude. Uh, this is a whole new life. This season compared to the last. Last year was a helmet season. I, I, give it some time. Give it some freaking time. You know what I'm saying? Holy Moses! I'm not asking for a lot of time. But remember 2019, the Nationals were like, they sucked for like the first two months. They ended up winning the World Series. Baseball is a, is a marathon, straight up. I'm not going to give up hope until it's time to give up hope. 
Um, who said giving up? I don't know what you want, but you keep saying like, okay, you're just going to wait till they're mathematically eliminated. When do you, what do you, want me to, when do you want me to, to be, to, to say this team stinks? When do you want me to, to, to tell you that? I'm not ready to do that yet. I may very well. I may very well. I don't know what you're implying. That's the thing. I don't understand what you want from me. Uh, I don't understand. Michael Roeder, way too early to panic. It is. It is. $5 super chat right there. And that's huge. That is huge. Give me a second. Give my composure. All right. Apologize for that. I, I, I apologize. You know, sometimes I lose and I get a little crazy, a little crazy sometimes. Holy Moses. Uh, but I want to thank everyone for being here. We got to, uh, I, I liked your videos for a while. I've, oh, I've liked you. I thought you said I liked your videos for a while. Like not anymore. I, I like, I did like it for a while. Not no more. Oh, I've huge difference. A little, little, little slight difference. There is a huge difference. That means you continue to like them and you have for a while. And I appreciate that. Matthew Mori. And I got a new video dropping hopefully in, in the next couple days, my next documentary, my next bust documentary. And then I got some others in mind that I hope do very well. We got to start pumping those out. Uh, Linda Rocha, don't let the morons piss you off, huh, baby? It's freaking April 3rd. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I mean, I'm about to get a fight in there in the chat. But no, I mean, yeah. Uh, like, Malone Labes, a uh, smart guy. But uh, just sometimes I, I, I we, we obviously don't agree on... Uh, on things. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure Malone Lay who she was talking about. I, I, I have an idea though. Uh, um, uh, how about a video about underrated, play underrated players? Did I not make a video on the underrated players? I'm asking that seriously. Not, I, I think I did. I think I did. I wanted to. I know I, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We got that on, on, on lockdown. Now, right there it is. Underrated. I, I got that video. It searched top 25 most underrated players in modern MLB history. Dang, that thing went off 271K views, but that's 10 months ago. That's the kind of video we need. We need some hits up in here. Oh, we need some hits up in here. Um, All the people giving grief to Eric. Yeah, not, not you specifically, just people giving grief. 108 in the chat. Amazing content. Thank you so much. Robbie Thompson. Robbie Thompson. Uh, Dodger fan, but I like the pieces Giants have, but NL West, very competitive. Does that vid need an update, Eric? No, but I, you know what? I, I don't think so, but I can do a top 25 active underrated players instead of a historical video, active underrated players. I also want to do some prospects ones like off the radar prospects, top 25 prospects who nobody's thinking about for the draft. So some, some guys who no one thinks was, I've been doing some serious scouting this year as well. And I'm finding some gems out there, some really good players. Let's break down. Um, let's break down this game real quick. Cause there was a exciting one. I didn't get any clips. Maybe I can get some while we're, we're talking and try to try to get some clips over here. Maybe you can watch it uh, somehow, but anyway, we got a, a super chat Todd in low. Todd Enlow, love your videos found last month and binged almost all your doc videos. I'm a huge Rockies fan. Great game today, but didn't pull it out like always. Tough game for the Rockies. You guys got good talent in that lineup. I really liked your lineup. The, the pitching is obviously continues to be the problem over there in Colorado, but um, y'all are going to win some games for sure. And uh, I appreciate that 999 very much. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. That means a lot. That means a lot. That's in, That's incredible. Um, that you would be so uh, um, generous. I'm looking for the <laughs> whoo, yep, Rockies, Rockies, Rockies over in a Coors Field. I remember y'all used to have the upper deck and, and and what happened to the upper deck out in, in right field and the purple line, the purple line arose and I was watching the game and I noticed it wasn't there. It was like, you have, you took, you guys took the, the seats out and it's like a big party deck or something instead. What happened to the seats? Um, 
Yes, that I'm supposed to make me mad. Not even close, amigo. Not even close. River cats are on fire. River cats. Yes, do that. Okay. The Galeogi connection, once it, it's happening, that is going to be a, uh, which one? The, the the 25 current underrated. Eric with a K, with a freaking K. Uh, and Eric with a C would know. Thank you so much. I do appreciate the support there. Pirates are undefeated. Pirates are rolling right there. They got a player by the name. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. Very under, under no, uh, not very well-known player, but you guys might have heard of him. I'm not really sure. His name is Joey Bart. He's on the Pirates now, and I'm not saying that he's the reason they're undefeated. But uh, if he goes over there and tears it up, uh, it's not going to look too good for us. Uh, let's just all think the same way, guys, and not have any diversity of thoughts. Who needs that? Giants are the greatest team ever assembled. It's early. We'll figure it out. I appreciate that, Malone. Labe. See, now Malone Labe is coming on the right. No, I'm just playing. I know you're being sarcastic. Uh, I'm not that dumb. But um, no one ever said they're the greatest team ever assembled. It is early. That's a fact, though. That's not a, an opinion. Would you not agree with that? Do you not think it's early in the season? I'm sure you uh, – I, I know we can agree on that. You may not think it means anything. You think this team sucks and this team ain't going to figure it out and this team is terrible, average at best, slightly better than last year at best. I get that, but at least we would agree it is early and a lot can happen. Can we agree on that? Uh, I love the Dodgers. You guys have a better team than the D-backs and Padres. Uh, thank you so much there. I love the Dodgers. Best of luck to y'all. Uh, appreciate it. You guys are a freaking stacked lineup, but we got a guy named Jorge Soler. I'm sure you would love to have, but no, no, no. Pirates, oh, the Pirates finally lost a game. Dodgers are the best team in baseball. They're going to pretty much beat whoever. Thank you guys so much, and uh, we're going to break this one down. So what happened today? Well, Giants lost. And you know what was the game-winning hit? Shohei. Shohei. Shohei smashed one out of the ballpark, and uh, that was the game-winning hit. But uh, before that, you know, the first inning went, you know what I noticed in this game? Something that was pretty annoying was the innings went so quick when the Giants would come up. Giants would come up, be like, boom, boom, boom. Like that top of the first was the fastest half inning I've ever seen in my life. Jungle Huli popped out. Lamont Wade grounded out. Jorge, Jorge Soler grounded. I was like, boom, 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 boom. I was like, dang. And then, yes, it was a scoreless bottom of the half, but Harrison definitely labored more. Betts got a hit, but we got through it. Second inning again. Conforto out. Chapman out. Estrada out. I was like, geez, man, that was fast. And then again, the Dodgers. More more pitches. Max Muncy worked a walk. Enrique, uh, Kike Hernandez got a base hit. Her, Taylor got a walk. And then um, Miguel Rojas grounded out, but a run came home. And it was one nothing at that point. So clearly uh, it was going to be a long night until Patrick Bailey smashed his first home run and not last of the season uh, with a shot. I saw him hit a grand slam in spring training. Patrick Bailey's legit. Didn't have the best spring training, but he's going to have a nice year. 1-1 tie game at that point. But uh, before you know it, Will Smith hitting a double. Uh, Tasker Hernandez with the base hit. 3-1 Dodgers. And uh, they added another in the bottom of the fourth on a home run by Miguel Rojas. He just hit a rocket straightaway left field uh, over the wall. And uh, Dodgers had a pretty strong lead until the top of the sixth. That's when the Giants got back into things. Jorge Soler hit a double. Michael Conforto with a key hit. Within one run at that point. But then in the bottom of the seventh, the Dodgers again. Shohei Otani. I guess it won a game-winning home run, but Otani with the ball making it five to three. It was their last run of the game. Giants struck with one more on the Jorge Soler bomb, but it was too little, too late, and we lose the game. And there's your recap brought to you by Michael Roder. Baylor was hurt in spring. Well, hope he ain't hurt now. Dodgers are rolling early in the season. The new Giants team needed to gain a little more chemistry and clubhouse unity. I see it charging up. Let's go Giants. Got to love it. Thank you so much. And we got a super chat. Uh, Todd Inlow, I got you on that one. Thank you so much. Edgar Ilasararas. Joe Kelly looked good. I was nervous when he came in to pitch. I see a lot of Dodgers fans here. And we appreciate the support. Okay, sure thing. What did you say, Malone Lay? I missed your response. Excuse me for being, excuse, excuse for being two and five. What else did you say? I don't know. I'm just curious. No, it's an excuse. A fact can be an excuse. Oh, so to say it's early is an excuse. The thing about it is every single season in the history of baseball, you know, 
a team's going to, you know, with rare exceptions, a team's going to go on a two and two and five stretch or two and four stretch. You don't just win, 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 win all year. So when you've only played six games only on the road, it you don't have the full picture of, of the team yet. It's not a good start, but it's not a full picture of the team. That's a fact. It's not an excuse. It's, it's a bad start. That's just a, that's just being reasonable. With You can be reasonable. You can be overly emotional. And be like, oh, we suck. Fuck, the team sucks. It's over. Or you can just be reasonable and be like, not a good start. Let's see how it goes at home, the, the homestand. Obviously, if we're in May, June, and sucking and losing series and in last place or or, or even in, in fourth place, I'm going to come up here like, dude, what is going on? What is going on with this team? That's what's going to happen. I got no problem calling out the team if if, if it needs be. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You know, get on them too hard. I'm, I I'll, I'll say we got swept. Is it an embarrassing sweep? No, it's not embarrassing. We played them tight, played them close, but we got swept, and that's not good. It's not good. But uh, I don't know what else to say other than that. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, Y'all, let me know what you think. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I tripping? Should I should I be harder on this team? Malone Lave, I know, right? It's early, but they already calling the Fodgers the best. Wait, I thought it's too early to tell. Uh, no, yeah, no, it is too early to tell. We don't know what's going to happen with the Dodgers. They have a stacked ro- a stacked roster and an incredible lineup. I mean, no, no denying that. But they could go on a losing streak. They could disappoint. They could they they could be anything could happen. Anything could happen. But they are looking good, and they're about to get some of the guys. Walker Bueller's on rehab right now. Walker Bueller's coming back. They got guys coming back. So. Woo, it's going to be a tough one. Uh, Dodgers are stacked, but very well. It could be disappointing. Weird. I've never said the season was over. Words in my mouth. Uh, oh, my God. Eric, we suck. Uh, Eric, uh, Estrada's not hitting well. He will figure it out. Okay, good. So the season's not over. Can you? Yeah, I, I didn't hear you say. Season's not over. Cool. Getting swept is embarrassing. Come on. Every team gets swept pretty much every year. Did you? Did you Every team gets swept at some point every freaking year, except uh, with rare exceptions. Like, you might be able to go back in MLB history and uh, the 27 Yankees never got swept. Oh, okay. Well, but, you know, it is what it is. How do I get a baseball by my name or become a member? Oh, Todd Enlow! You should be able to, uh, I don't know, you should be able to, go to wherever you sent the super chat and there should be an option to become a member. Um, but you know, let's, let's talk about this game. Let's talk about this game here. Let me know if you're having trouble with that. I'll I'll definitely help you out that if I can, because uh, if you want to be a member, we, we want to make that happen. And I do appreciate your amazing support here. My guy, Todd and yes. And it's embarrassing. It's, I, I don't feel embarrassed because we played them tight. It was on the road. And I don't think any giant feels like we can't do, that they can't beat this team. I don't think any giant player feels like, oh, we had no chance that we were just overmatched. You know, it, it's, uh, and maybe a little bit, but not like super embarrassing. This is like, you know, if we would have got lit up all three games, absolutely. So, you know, it's, it's a context, but that's me. That's me. That's just me. Dodgers went a season without getting swept recently okay that's that's awesome that's like i said it's a rare it's rare it has happened dodgers did it very impressive that's freaking impressive you go a full 162 without getting swept whoo it's our freaking rivals and you don't think getting swept by them is not embarrassing that's wild i thought we had different opinions though so you don't want different opinion we all have to agree with you different opinions are okay right diversity and opinions you just said that so i have a different opinion than you i don't think it's an embarrassing series I don't think it was an embarrassing series. You do. Different opinions. That's okay. Because you said that earlier. Okay? Let's freaking go. Uh, next. Todd brought another super chat. Oh, we got another super chat from Todd. Todd Inlow. Sorry, I'm new to this YouTube stuff. I'll be coming a member. Love your content. Yes, I have season tickets, but they added a bar called the Rooftop Bar to that section. It's great. Also, they added a bar there. Okay, I haven't been to Coors Field. Need to go check it out. I just noticed that the right field, when people used to hit them in, up in the upper deck, it was a, all a bunch of seats there. Then I was watching. I was like, wait, where do the seats go? There's like five rows of seats. What happened? 
Uh, uh, but yeah, that's cool. I kind of liked it because they had the purple line of seats. There was a row that was just purple. I think it was for like, I don't remember, a thousand feet uh, above sea level or something like that. I don't remember the exact number, but you probably know because you're over there in Denver. Um, thank you so much. Two super chats from Todd Enlow. And we got a member for two months, Micah. We got 136 in the chat. 136 and another from Todd Enlow. Todd Enlow with the three Pete. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Todd Enlow. Uh, there's only one thing I can say to Todd Enlow right now. Uh, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're Thank you for responding. This is my third super chat. I have no idea how to become a member. Love the videos, Togo Rockies. Thank you so much to Todd and low 52. Of course, it's not a thousand feet above sea level. I don't know why I said that. Like uh 5,280 feet above sea level. Because like normal cities are or are, are in the Midwest are a thousand feet. So clearly Denver's gonna be way more than that. Um, thank you so much. Um 52. 180 feet above sea level. That's insane. Uh, thank you so much, Todd Enlo, for those super chats. Seeing good and bad. I like it. We got Jenny Vega. Um, but no, 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 no. Uh, let me let me see if I can. I don't know if you're on a computer or you on a uh cell phone. If you're on an Apple, I can't help you because I don't know how to work those. Um, I'm pretty good with technology. I figure out stuff quick. You could be an Apple device. I was like, fuck, I don't know what to do. Uh but uh, I'm going to open up my, my, my own stream, my own video and pause it so I don't have to hear myself. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, the little dollar sign over here, you click it. Membership. Click on membership, and you just join the channel. You click double A, single A. Blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear myself. Uh, yeah, you click that and uh, you go ahead and uh, join. I think, I guess, membership right there. Membership gifting, super chat, super stickers, blah, blah, blah. It's all there. Uh, you know what? I haven't gifted. I haven't done the gifties myself. I used to, last year, I gifted a bunch of memberships during these streams. We need to start doing that a little bit. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a second here. Let's bring back the, uh, let's bring back the game. Uh, five, four, your final today. We can look at the box score a little bit as well. And clearly not a, a terrible day for Jorge Soler. Two hits, brought his average up to 280. Two hits for Bailey. He's hitting 375 with the OPS over a thousand. We were worried about Bailey. Um, Conforto with a hit, but that's it. A lot of, oh, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of goose eggs on that, uh, lineup today. Yes. Yes. Had no chance against, uh, Glass now. Yaz just struck out twice against Glass now. he's He hasn't had a hit yet this year. Yaz hasn't had a hit this year. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Matt Chapman's hitting, hitting not, not a, that had a great day. 0 for 4. Uh, Wade Jr. doing a, do, having a good year. A couple of walks today. Jung-Hoo Lee had a rough one today. Ahmed even didn't get a hit. So pretty, pretty, pretty uh, slow day today offensively. Um, pitching wise, I thought that Tyler Rogers did not, uh, actually neither of the Rogers twins were looked too particularly great, but Tyler was just putting the ball right out over the plate and he was just getting lit up. He, you know, luckily he didn't give up any runs, but he was missing his spots. He's a location guy. Taylor looked, looked okay, but gave up the big fly. Eric Miller looked good today. He's had, he's either like awesome or terrible. Uh, and Kyle Harrison was pretty. Pretty good, but obviously giving up four runs, six hits, three walks, and five innings. I can't say it was it was great. You know, he I saw some stuff. I saw him. I saw the stuff, but you know, we're gonna need to have better better outings from Kyle Harrison going forward. But uh, yes, yes, yes. I got a ton of comments coming in. Normal cities. Well, cities that are not freaking five thousand feet above sea level. I don't mean that Denver's not a normal city. I've been to Denver. But haven't been to um, 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 Coors Field. I might, I, I might have seen Coors Field, but I haven't actually been inside, 
inside Coors Field. You sound good, Eric. I don't know what I don't know to, how to take that, but I'm gonna. Oh, you sound good. Don't worry about hearing yourself. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of people like to hear themselves. It, it, it's it's weird. Sometimes I watch my own videos because I have to edit them. So I don't, not sometimes, all the time. And I don't, it's not, it's not the best. Uh, Yaz needs to stay on permanent maternity leave. <laughs> Cozy codes. That's hardcore right there. Spend more time with your kid, man. Don't you want to see your baby grow up? Yaz. Don't you see your little child play, learn it, teach him to play baseball. Those are precious moments, bro. You need to stay home with your kid, man. You know? What about Jung Hoo Lee? No, he doesn't. No, those kids, that kid will be fine. That kid will be fine. I don't even know if Jung Hoo Lee has a kid. But if so, the kid will be fine. The, the, your wife is taking care of that. You need to play baseball. But yes, I just have a feeling your kid's going to need you. Uh, just playing. I love Mike Yastrzemski. I'm just joking with him. If you're here, Mike, just play with you, man. Just get better. Start getting hits. You have a great video voiceover. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> take your time, Yaz. No, we're just messing with Yaz. We're just messing with Yaz. Eric Soler hit an Eric home run tonight. Remember when you hit them like that? By the way, the women in the parking lot from 97 said you still owe her a windshield. Uh, I do remember. I can still hit a home run out of a professional ballpark, and I know that for a fact because I did it last year. Last year, took some BP at a AAA park, and I went deep. I went deep. You can believe it or not, I I, I, I can guarantee you I can go deep. Now, off a major league pitch, no. Huge difference. Huge difference. Teach your kid to play ball. You sure as hell can't. Uh, still sucks. That's awesome. Yeah, sucks with that 000 batting average. We need Clarence up in here. Clarence. Clarence. Let's see if we can bring up some clips. I, I, I didn't have a chance to download the clips. And I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, play them full screen. There's videos here. Okay, let's see. Patrick Bailey. Let's see, let's see what happens if I click on that. I'm afraid he's going to play an ad, though. There are giants among us. The internet is just ads have ruined the internet. I don't even have any ads on my website. My website gets traffic too, homebabybaseball.com. I probably should put ads on there, but I don't I don't want people to go in there and see ads. It's a high drive to right. Hernandez back out of here. There. And this game is tied. Boom. First RBI of the year for Patrick. There's Patrick. Just a nice, smooth, left-handed swing right there. It's the high drive Damn. to right. Hernandez back out of here. Super awesome to see Patrick Bailey doing big things for the Giants. When they drafted him, I didn't love the draft pick. I like, we already got Bart. Why did we draft? Why did we draft Bailey? Now I see. Now I see why. Because obviously. Bart was not in the plans for some reason. Why was Bart not in the plans? I don't know, because he, he got his chances and couldn't get it done. And I wish he would have given him one more shot this year, give him a few at-bats. But, you know, especially we're going to just trade him for a a, a, you know, a low-tier pitcher who hadn't, hadn't even pitched in the minor leagues yet. You know, he was from Kentucky, decent pitcher, but, you know, nothing, nothing that I see that guarantees he's going to play in the big leagues someday. So... We're, you know, I'd rather give him a shot than, than trade him for that guy, but uh, who knows? Anyway, uh, other than that, we had a Conforto hit. Teoscar Hernandez laces a line drive. Will Smith, RBI double. Jorge Soler hits a 400. Now, I never hit a 452 foot home run, especially damn sure with the They're not with giants the wood among us. They are the men and women building our Navy's next generation submarines. All right. If 452 is a blast. There are literal giants among us. If Bart kicks ass in Pittsburgh, I'm going to puke. Yeah, you know, I, I hate to think that way, but I, it's tough, man. The sixth inning. Hop in the sixth inning. I drive. Check this one out. What the heck is going on? Zolaire with a double down the right field line in the sixth inning. Oh! I drive. Center field. Out of here. And I mean... Way out of here. That 
<laughs> That's insane. That dude's got, we got a new member. He can figure it out. Todd Enlow. Todd Enlow. That, 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 I can't believe it. Todd Enlow. It, Todd Enlow. Welcome to the Um Baby Baseball Membership Organization. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't believe the support we get even after losses this year. Absolutely crazy. Sorry about that echo. Absolutely crazy. Thank you so much. Jason Corona. Todd Enlow, triple A. Triple A. We're going to promote you straight to triple A. That's insane. Thank you so much. And Jason Corona, para cafecito mañana. I'm out. Need to crash for an hour or two before getting back to work. Oh, tax season. Yeah, I've been working on my taxes too. Uh, I'm almost ready to file. That's that's something, man. Um, much love and respect for my fellow accountants. Jason Corona, thank you so much for that $10 super chat. And keep grinding, dude. You're making it happen. Ca accountants doing great things. Thank you so much for that and your support. Um, I should yell more. It does seem to help the stream. We got 133 in the chat. And I've been screaming the whole time. The whole time. Holy Moses. Y'all got me going. Uh, Richmond. Richmond is here. We need to pitch better. Welcome, Todd Enlow. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Have some major concerns, Zendava. What does Zendava say? So there's going to be a game changer. You watch, friends. You watch. Bailey owns glass now. Literal, yes. Uh, my home run video? Oh, my home run video. You want to see me in a home run? Yeah, I got the swing. Uh, let me see if I'm bringing it up here. Uh, maybe the fastest way. Let's see here. Give me a second. I don't think anyone cares, but uh, I do have the, the I do have my home run video. I, I actually do. And uh, it is guaranteed out. The ball wasn't a cheapy too. It was gone. It was. It was. I think I measured it about. I looked on Google Earth. It was about three ninety. Uh, which is not, ain't nothing like, ain't, ain't no, uh, ain't no, uh, ain't no, uh, Soler, but, uh, here it is right here. There it is right here. There's the 380 blast right here. Oh, oh, I'm on the wrong screen. Uh, boom, the 380 foot blast. That's me right there taking, it's a pitching machine. No, nothing special. That's it. I don't know if you could see it too good. You know, it's kind of not the best video right there, but uh, turn this down a little bit. Let's play a little slow mo. Uh, uh, a little slow mo right here. Can we do a little slow mo? Yeah, right here. Turn that down. We don't need all that. Uh, you know, I got that open stance, hold the bat kind of high. That's my stance going back to high school. I just put all this momentum, try to put as much of my body into the swing. And, oh, that wasn't even it. That's a line drive right there. That wasn't it. Um, let's pull forward it. This is it right here. Kind of do a double tap, tap, and then I get my timing. And then, bam! That's it right there. So, that one was out of the ballpark. Who we got here in the chat right here? Where's the chat? Johnny Cage is here. Tad had hazy. Yeah, it was hazy that day. A little bit better swing than Mr. KBO. No doubt. My wife needs to be Richmond. Team is not doing great. We got swept. I can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. That's okay. AM Echo got a roll. Got a roll. Uh, here's another angle of it. Bang! That's the swing. There goes the ball. And, uh, even put it on the scoreboard. See, there it says home run on the scoreboard. Any second now. Any second now. Home run! So, yeah, I mean, that was a nice little swing of the bat. But anyway, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. 
Uh, we got AM Echo, and uh, unfortunately, things didn't work out today. We got a new game, a new place. You know, I've been to Park in Fresno. What did you think of it's the only minor league stadium I've been to? Oh, yeah, Chukchuski Park used to be hopping. Last time I was there, it looked a little bit uh, run down. I ain't going to lie. Like the, 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 I noticed the scoreboard like has a lot of little pixels out. And it was a, uh, it was just a, it just didn't didn't have the same energy that it used to. But then again, uh, they had just got demoted to to low A. Didn't feel like they were putting as much energy into it. Um, need some upgrades. Maybe it's got some since then. I need to go back. I need to go on a weekend when it's when it's a little bit hopping, a little bit hopping. Um, series was not fun. Better swing than Mr. KBO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was that was literally months ago. That was last year. So, um. I don't know, you know, I'll, I'll try to, to get to a, to a minor league state if they'll let me do batting practice. Um, I had a special connection there, but uh, if I can get some again, I'll, I'll, I'll go back in and see if I can do it again. I hit a home run and uh, of course I go to, I go to uh, high school state, high school fields and hit home runs all the time. That's pretty much major league distance. So this feels, it feels different when you do it in a, in a professional park here in Tucson, we have two awesome minor league parks and no team. That's a bunch of bull crap. That's a bunch of bull crap. Wifey tripping. Happy wife, happy life. And you guys are awesome. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you again, Jason Corona, for Cafecito. Getting back to work. Keep doing your grinding. We, we got eight, eight special donations. One, Jason Corona. Two, Michael Michael Roeder. Three, Todd Enloe. Four, Todd Enloe. Five, Micah, member for two months. Todd Enloe, six. Todd Enloe, new member. Jason Corona for ten, for 10. That is insane. After a loss and a sweep. That is insane. Uh, I, I, if you missed it, I do have a video. Uh, I have a video, I, I believe, that shows my reaction after the sweep. Uh, let's see if we have that video right here. I can't. Uh, yeah, let's see. I'm having trouble. Oh, yeah, this is the video uh, after the sweep. If you missed it here, 120 people in the chat, you might have not missed the video of my reaction after the sweep. I'm so glad you're not upset about the Giants getting swept today. Oh, no, it's just a game. Let me just grab my stuff off the bus real quick. But hopefully... Things turn around at Oracle. If the Giants, you know, struggle against the Padres and God forbid against the Nationals, I will co come here with a whole different attitude. With a whole different attitude. Todd Enloe! I want your top five pitchers of all time, regardless era and steroid usage, and make that 10 for $9.99 off the top of my head. Uh... Roger Clemens has to be there. Uh, I'll probably miss some names. You said for 10. I'm doing no research. I'm doing no Google. This is off my head. I'm going to write, write it down here. Just kind of helps me to write them down so I know. Roger Clemens. I don't care about steroids. I don't care. Roger Clemens. Gets, this is no particular order. Uh, uh, let's go with um, Christy Mathewson. We got to represent the Giants. Christy Mathewson representing the Giants. Cy Young. We got to put the guy, the freaking Cy Young, is named after Cy Young. So I'm pretty sure we got to put Cy Young. The most dominant guy I ever witnessed. You couldn't pay me to step in a batter's box. And I'm against this man in his prime, Randy Johnson. Holy smokes. Randy Johnson, absolutely filthy. Um, oh, you, you went five. I meant 10 donations. Sorry, brother. Oh, what did you say again? Oh, and make that 10. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I got you 10 donations. I had eight, now we got 10. Okay, five. Okay, so I need one more. Roger Clemens, Christy Matthewson, Cy Young, Randy Johnson. Mm, man, Bob Gibson. You got, oh, you got Greg Maddox, Juan Marichal. Uh, oh, man, the list goes on. But I, I, I'm going to say, I feel like I'm missing so many. Babe Ruth was, Babe Ruth could pitch. But top five, let's go with Bob 
Gibson. That's off the top of my head. Roger Clemens, Christy Matthewson, Cy Young, Randy Johnson, Ra and Bob Gibson. We got we're, we're representing all different eras there from the early days. Cy Young, Christy Matthewson a little bit later. Roger Clemens and uh, Bob Gibson in the '60s. Roger Clemens in the '80s and '90s. A little bit in 2000 and Randy Johnson also you know 2000s. So uh, and a little bit in the '90s. So there you have it. Uh, Timmy, which one? Tim Lincecum. Top five, it can't give him top five. I can't give him top five. I can't go top five. Colfax, Co Colfax, Colfax. Could, could, Colfax definitely deserves consideration. He didn't have the longest career, though. He only pitched about 10, 11 years, 10 years. Um, but Colfax was dominant. Tom Glavin, Pedro. Oh, I forgot about Pedro. Uh, did you see? Yes, they, they did. Jim Thurkill, the April Fool's joke. Um, Children no longer allowed at Oracle Park. And um, I, 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 I knew right away that's an April Fool's joke. There was no way. There was no freaking way. And people, yeah, people did fall for it. People were like, this is BS. I'm done with the Giants. First Rennell, then you, you just let J.D. Davis go. You don't pay him. And now this, I'm like, bro. There's no way. Um, I would joke too. I would I get on Twitter and I was like, uh, sweet dude, all the baseballs and autographs for me. And people were like, bro, that's messed up, man. Children deserve to go to the ballpark. Don't be better. I'm like, my man, it's a joke. Uh Schmoltzy, Clayton Kershaw, Clayton Kershaw, Clayton Kershaw. Yeah, Timmy, not top hundred. I'd have to make a top 100, but I don't think Lincecum, you, you're probably right. If you think about it, you probably won't make top 100. Um, Clayton Kershaw should be up there. I don't know about top five. I would say Kershaw too, although his subpar postseason performance kind of hurts him. His career numbers are, I went right off the top. I had Nolan Ryan didn't even, I didn't even, uh, yeah, we snaked JD. I don't like what we did to JD and people were, bro, it's business, dude. Everyone knew. JD knew that could happen. His agent and him should never have gone to, um, to to try to get paid in arbitration if they knew that could happen. Business is business. I'm like, dude, to a point, yeah, business is business. But man, come on, that's just to pull the rug out from him like that. Be like, you ain't getting paid either. Peace, mother effer. And we ain't gonna pay your ass. We got someone better. But I bet I did great things. I came over here in the trade and I hit well. I had a great spring training. Get the hell out of here. This feels messed up. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm glad he, he landed on his feet, though, in Oakland. Um, Kershaw top five, smoking crack at 20 at best. FFF business is business. Business is business. Uh, business is business. Uh, I couldn't have done that. I couldn't have done that. I could not have done that. <laughs> But that's why I ain't running a Major League Baseball team. That's why I ain't running a Major League Baseball team. Hit that subscribe button, ladies and gentlemen. Hit the thumbs up. I got to hit the hay. And uh, this is the picture. We got the great. This is, this is We talked about top five hitters of all time. Yeah, that JD killed my vibe. That hurt, man. I think we should have kept him. I know you're like, dude, there's no room. Like there's always room. There's a DH. There's people who get hurt, and there's someone get, bring them off the bench. Dodgers do it. Dodgers got guys that are in AAA who are probably deserve to be starters. Dodgers stash dudes in AAA. Miguel Vargas is in AAA. Miguel Vargas should be starting. He's in AAA because that's how how stacked they are. Um, this guy would be in the top uh, five hitters of all time, right there. That is the greatest hitter, maybe other than Barry Bonds, just playing on. Uh, Barry Bonds is next level, um, no doubt about it. Tony Gwynn, too. Tony Gwynn might be the best contact hitter of all time. Matthew wants the Immaculate. I, I, I would love to do Immaculate. I'm just worried it's going to take too long. I'll, I'll look at it. Let's hope it's not too hard. I don't want to be here for, for 20 minutes trying to get the – Answer, but you say, are you are you Matthew? Are you the same Matthew from yesterday? I, I assume you are. Yesterday just said Matthew. Are, are, are you are, are you the Matthew? Told me you know all the answers. So let's go. What's the answers? Kansas City Mariners. 
uh, Kansas City and Mariners, Philadelphia Phillies and Mariners, Silver Slugger. Uh, can Ken Griffey Jr. win the Silver Slugger? If Ken Griffey Jr. never won a Silver Slugger, we're just going to end the stream. If Ken Griffey Jr. never won a Silver Slugger, we're just going to end the stream. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Holy cow. Bonds was baseball. Damn super chaps. Wild win tonight. Let's get it. Mariners, Phillies, Gene Segura. Mariners, Phillies. Yep. I, I concur. Mets, Royals. Uh, Mets, Royals. Mets, Royals. Mets, Royals. Mets, Phillies. Well, there's got to be a lot of guys. Mets and Phillies. I can't think of any. Uh, Silver Slugger for the Mets. There's got to be a lot of options there. Daryl Strawberry. Did they have Silver Slugger back when he played? I think they did. Daryl Strawberry probably won a Silver Slugger. Shortstop minimum one game. Oh, uh, Jimmy Rollins. Maybe uh, it's not going to be great for my rarity score, but, you know, we'll put Jimmy Rollins. Royals. What's his name? Melendez? 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 Is it Luis? No, no, no. I can't remember his name. I don't want to get that one wrong. I can't remember his name. Shortstop for the Royals. Uh, who played shortstop for the Royals during the during the 2014 World Series? I can't remember. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, all right, good night. Yeah, we're about to roll out of here. We're just going to knock this one out. Mets, Royals. Yeah, Carlos Beltran. Yeah, Carlos Beltran. Carlos Beltran. Phillies, Mets. Phillies, Mets. I feel like a pitcher. I feel like a pitcher. There's a like a really good pitcher who played. I can't think of. I can't think of anyone. I mean, there's got to be a lot of players who played on the Phillies and Mets. Someone help me out. David Wright for Mets Silver Slugger. I agree with that. David Wright. Uh, you got it. Mets, Phillies, Pedro Martinez. He played on the Phillies? He played on the Phillies? Pedro Martinez played on the Phillies? Am I tripping? Just, just. Okay, you, you said you know them all. You doesn't, I, I don't remember Pedro Martinez. Pedro Martinez played on the Phillies? The pitcher? Why don't I remember that? I don't remember Pedro on the Phillies. The Red Sox guy? Pedro? MLB Network? Two more Super Chats. Oh, my goodness. We're going to get them right now. Uh, Pedro Martinez on the Phillies. Uh, Royals, Mondesi. Mondesi, Mondesi. Padres will turn around. We got this one. We always get the Mets and Mariners for those games. Yeah. He said, yep. So we're going for it. I just want to confirm is the right Pedro because there's two here. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember him on the Phillies. I, I genuinely don't. Um, okay, we got some super chats to get to. Uh, Todd Enlow, uh, thank you so much. Top five hitters. I think Bonds is the greatest hitter. What do you think? Good night. Uh, Bonds, Bonds, uh, Bonds. We're going to go with Bonds and Bonds. No, I'm just playing. Ted Williams, Barry Bonds, uh, Babe Ruth, um, Ty Cobb. And Ted Williams. Did I re did I repeat anyone? Did I say Ted Williams twice? That's why I write it down because I'm such a dumbass. I'll forget. Gavin X Dragon. Do you think there's enough talent in MLB for expansion? Like a new couple of Yeah, I mean they can do an expansion again. I don't. I I kind of think thirty is is solid. I think we don't need to go any further than that. But you know, if 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 they want to add a couple more, there's some good cities that could you know Nashville could have a team. Portland you can have a team. Um, there's a few cities that, that could have a team. So I, I don't mind. I don't mind, but I don't want to go like too many. You said Bonds three times. No, he wasn't. Yes, Bonds was the best hitter. Babe Ruth was close. Babe Ruth. Wasn't King Griffey Jr. a Royal? Uh, I'm going to say no. Reds and Mariners. I'm going to say no. Oh, he ended his career with the Phillies? I don't even remember. 2009? Totally, totally forgot. I'm sure I knew at the time, but um, let's get back to the, this here. Immaculate. Did we get a Mariners Royals? Uh, my man, what, what my man? Uh, I, I missed the, the Mariners Royals. Oh, here it is. Carlos Santana. Carlos Santana. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, shortstop, one game. I saw someone said it, and then I forgot. Mondesi. I got to get the right Mondesi. There's been multiple Mondesis. Adabelto, that's who I was trying to think of. Adabelto, I couldn't think of his name. Raul Mondesi was a Dodgers outfielder, really good in the 90s and early 2000s. Um, Adabelto Mondesi. We need a silver slugger who also played shortstop. Pick it, pick your guy, right? Uh, Alex Rodriguez. Uh, A-Rod, you know, is, I guess A-Rod's the obvious one. So that should do it. And we have a immaculate grid. Immaculate grid. A Rod is the most popular answer. Bobby Witt Jr. I, I don't know why I, I forgot Bobby Witt Jr. plays shortstop. I, mean, I couldn't didn't, didn't pop in my head. Look at Lenny Dykstra. Didn't think of him. Mets Phillies. Lenny Dykstra, of course. Nails. That's the thing I know about nails. Um, Jamie Moyer. Jamie Moyer played till he was like 54. No, I think he played like 49. Uh, just lobbing it up there, and somehow nobody could hit it. Jamie Moyer was a beast. Um, love Jamie Moyer, man. Wish he was still playing today. Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. You made it through the video and the stream. Tulo, Tulo Whiskey. Uh, Troy, great. Ozzy Smith, the best. Um, but yeah, no, no, no. I, I want to make sure I he sent, he sent a super, super chat, so I want to make sure. Top five hitters of all time. I said Bonds, Ted Williams, uh, Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb. Uh, uh, who else? Did I miss one? Mm, boy, oh, boy. I think I did. Holy crap. Willie Mays. There you have it. Two Giants on the top five. We ain't playing. Willie Mays, okay? Mays is more like the best all-around player in the history of the game, unless you want to count Babe Ruth, but I'm talking like offensive, like, a, like the best five-tool talent ever, Willie Mays, the man, the myth, the legend. Willie Mays is the greatest. Willie Mays is so great, he's still doing big things and can still be found at Oracle Park at 92 years of age. Uh, Willie Mays is a beast. I'm so glad that um, that he's still around, and I hope I hope he I hope he's still around for many many years to come because Willie Mays is the legend, and um, is just uh, just just amazing the things that he could do back in the day. And before my time, for sure, I did see him play in a old timers game. One of the biggest thrills of my life, just seeing Willie Mays swing a bat in an old timers game. That was back in the 80s. Uh, Jeff Kent at six. Jeff Kent. You know what? I thought about Jeff Kent today when I saw Matt Chapman bat. Watch Matt Chapman bat. He 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 has this very similar batting stance to uh, to Jeff Kent. Very similar stance, similar swing, but just similar mannerisms. Because when I saw him in that Giants uniform, I was like looking at it, and I was like seeing Jeff Kent. I was having flashbacks to Jeff Kent. Face of every franchise. Let me write that down. You are you, Jim Thurlkill. You're a genius. You are a genius for that idea. Face of every franchise. You guys have any ideas for these kind of countdown videos? You know, uh, uh, audio. You know, uh, documentary style videos. Um, throw it out there. Face of every franchise. I also want to do cities. Top ten cities that you know might that Mike could have MLB. Um, base of every franchise, top 10 cities. And I, and I saw another one earlier. You won't see me talking about the Frogers. I have zero respect for the clowns. Dodgers, Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson, clearly legend. I saw that hat they were going to be giving away. That Brooklyn Dodgers hat looks pretty sick. Obviously, I can't wear it because I'm a Giants fan, but, you know, that looks really awesome. That looks like a cool hat to have. The intentional walk was created for bonds period. I hate the intentional walk. I'll be going to see like prospects, like high school prospects. I went to see a kid, J, uh, JP Wentworth, super interesting prospect in high school. They just intentionally walked him every time. I was like, you got to be freaking kidding me. OKC wants a team. Support OKC uh, and San Antonio. Such a good stream. It's hard to want to leave. I got to leave myself. I got to leave myself. You think I don't know about OKC a little bit? 
Oh, yeah, we know about OKC. You guys remember? My man, KD. Oh, we got the KD jerseys up in here. KD, okay? We used to really be a huge KD fan. I'm not saying I'm not now, but obviously he's he's uh, a little bit older and he's bounced around. I don't even, where is he? The Phoenix Suns? I think he's in Phoenix now, last I checked. He went to the he went to he went to the Warriors. That was sick because he was local. You know, like local. And then he went to New Jersey. And then where'd he go? Uh Phoenix Suns, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Is he still with Phoenix Suns? I don't even know. Uh, I, I, yeah, yeah. DKD. I, I don't know y'all, how, how y'all feel in OKC about Kevin Durant because I know he left and that was kind of messed up when he left. But um, he seems like a nice guy. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. Uh, but that don't freaking cut it, right? Kevin Durant. Where is he? Is Phoenix Suns still? He's still with the Phoenix Suns. Okay. I wasn't 100% sure because they guys bounce around here. But, uh, yeah, he's 35. I can't believe he's 35 years of age. I remember when he was a youngster coming up uh, with the Seattle Supersonics. He started with his career with the Supersonics. Then they moved. Phoenix could support a second team, in my opinion. Yeah, we need to light the beam. We need to start talking Kings. And I apologize. Yeah, the Thunder team. Thunder, you know, Thunder got a, a good squad right now. Thunder got a good squad right now. Uh, uh, right now, the uh, nobody cares. People are like, dude, what's the guy talking basketball? Why is the guy talking basketball, dude? Um but no, I mean, I've been following it a little more this year and I tried to start the Kings channel. We did a few streams and I kind of fell off once baseball season, once college baseball season started. I, I was really hard to keep up, but the Thunder are absolutely crushing it this year. They're, they're a great, great, great team. They're going to do big things. Could be underdogs to uh, to go make to make it to the finals for the first time since 2012. And uh, the Kings are, are hanging in there this year. They're not quite as, as, uh, as electric, I would say with um as you guys but we'll see what the kings can do lakers too they are getting a wnba team soon lakers yeah obviously um jay gilgis alexander is, is sick for you all for the for the okc thunder isaiah joe josh giddy chet holmgram i liked him i saw you yeah we have, uh, kings have played the thunder a few times this year and Always fun games, but uh, you guys have a fantastic day. Warrior, I get you. War of course, Warriors. Dude. Warriors, you know, like I said, like local, you know what I'm saying? Um, absolutely. Uh, I really do enjoy watching uh, basketball, but it just, it's just, it's just very, very hard. Uh, best I could do is watch the game, do a quick post game. Like I can, I don't think I could ever build a channel like this one because it's just way too much, too much energy and, it's extremely time consuming, but, uh, yeah, late, uh, warriors are, you know, they're hanging in there. I think they can make the playoffs. I think warriors can get the playoffs this year. Right now they're hot. Um, so just, uh, uh, just keep, just stay hot be in that playoffs. Um, Kings are going to be in the playoffs. Thunder are damn sure going to be in the playoffs. Thunder are going to be a, a, a force to reckon with, uh, come playoffs. You know what I'm talking about? Playoffs? Playoffs? Playoffs. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Playoffs? Have a great day. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you on a Thursday. Thank you for the super chats. Y'all are awesome. Holmgren is a beast. And uh, when is the next Kings game here? Let me see here. Hey, we, we, uh, is there a game tomorrow? If there's a game tomorrow, there. I think there is a game tomorrow. I think there's a game tomorrow. And I will, I can't promise, but I'm going to try to do a post game tomorrow over on uh, Hum Baby Kings. No promises. No promises. I'm going to do my best if I can remember. Uh, they, they they have a game, I believe, against, uh, I lost it. Uh, I believe against the, is it against the Knicks tomorrow? It's against the Knicks and, or the Celtics, one or the other. But anyway, uh, they got a game coming up. I will try my best. Uh, to do a post game on that one since the Giants have the day off, but uh, no promises. You guys have a great one. Thank you again for the super chat. It means so much. And we're going to talk to y'all tomorrow, oh, actually on Thursday. Thank you again for all the super chats and the support. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.
Shame on you. I thought we were in this thing together. I'm just as scared as you are, but this has to be done. We don't want the bad guys to win. We gotta do this for, for, for justice, for freedom, for honesty. Boy, do I feel ashamed. Me too. I feel like two cents. I'm back in. You can count on me. Oh, hey, I was only joking. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun to go out there and risk our lives. Yeah. Yeah. All for one and one for all. Yeah.